Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we're celebrating my friend Tracy's birthday and I decided to make her one of these cool glitter um, bottles. <laughs> I also added a bunch of rhinestones and made it a little designer inspired. This was a lot of fun to make but it is a bit messy due to all the glitter. So just expect a big cleanup and then to have glitter for like the rest of your life. And if you guys want to see how I did this please keep watching and let's get started. Okay, so here I am on Cricut Design Space and I already started kind of creating what I wanted. So as you guys know, I always just add a shape to the size that I want to make, whatever it is that I'm making. So here um, in the front of the bottle, I want to just put her name. So I measured out to be two and a half by one and a half inches. And then also on the sides, like every corner basically, except for the front here, because this is where the logo goes. So then this is like the side of it. Um, I wanted to put like 30th birthday or something on there. So that's what I have right here. To get the shapes, all I did was go here in shapes. Um, you just click on whatever shape it is that you want and then you enter the size here. Uh, same for the text, we just click on text, um, type out whatever it is that you want and then select the font. In this instance, I'm using athletic outfit just because I like the thickness of it. I feel like that's going to be easier for me. So then I typed out Tracy and then I'm just going to put it in the front and make sure that it fits in the little box because that's the area that I'm going to have to work with. And as you can see right here, these are three separate text boxes. It's just easier so we can change the size of every little part that we want since this I want it to be smaller, the 30 I want it to be big, and then this just to fit at the bottom. And this is how it's going to look hopefully. For the T right here, I'm not sure why it's um, cropping out that little area right there. But I'm going to select everything here and then weld. And that did two things. Now this is one image, it's gonna cut out together. And then also you can see it got rid of those cutouts. So that's a win-win right there. She also likes designer things and I think the black and white will go good with a Chanel. So I'm gonna go into uploads and I believe I do have a picture saved. And of course you're free to add whatever you want. I'm gonna add this right here. And I don't want the letters, I just want the logo here. So I'm gonna contour hide all, and then just select the logo, like that. And I want it on both sides, so I'm gonna duplicate it. So like with a little bit of imagination, uh, this is the front of the bottle, and then this is blank here because that's where the logo is. This is the two sides of it, and then this is the back. And so once you have everything that you're going to make, um, we don't need the boxes. These are only for my reference, so you can either just delete them or hide them here. And so once you're happy with your design and everything looks good, just go over to make it. And here I only have one white mat. That's because I'm going to cut everything in just permanent white vinyl. And so I'm going to select just the vinyl here. And now we are ready to cut. Okay, and it's hard to see, but I have cut out everything. Okay, and this is the bottle. I'll be using it, so I'll be showing you guys what I'm going to do to prep it. I've never done this before, so um, let's hope for the best. <laughs> oh, I'm actually going to remove this um, blue seal right here. So I ended up um, also removing the back here so we only have the front of the bottle. And I didn't remove all of the residue but that's okay because we're going to put glue on top of it anyways. And I'm only going to do the glitter up to here because I'm going to put something else on it and then it makes it easier to just be able to hold it like this. And it, I'm only going to go like around here also. And I was going to put something on top of the logo but um, it feels like it's just paper so I don't want to like ruin it by putting sticker on it and then peeling it off and you know coming off so I'm just gonna go around with my brush and I do have a cotton ball with just regular alcohol and I'm just gonna wipe it around to remove any stickiness I can and I'm gonna grab some Mod Podge here this is matte and I'm gonna be using black glitter from Michaels and so I'll just be taking my brush and I'm gonna do this by sections so the glue doesn't dry too fast but I'm just gonna go over it I'm 
so it looks like this and we're gonna do like two or three coats so don't worry about if it's not very even just keep going all the way around so this has been drying for about an hour and a half now and it looks pretty good to me so we're just gonna do our second layer what it looks like with two layers I'm really liking this so I think I'm only gonna do two layers it has enough coverage and so I'm gonna let this dry again for one more hour okay and this is drying you can't really see it that much but there is like these white spots all around that's because I actually went around with this e6000 spray and I just went around spraying it all around I feel like by doing this um, it's gonna seal in all the glitter so you don't have to do another layer of Mod Podge on top just be generous with the sprays, but don't let it drip too much. And it should dry clear, so all those white spots will be gone. And here is our bottle. This is what two layers of glitter looks like. I also did spray this with the E6000 spray very generously to make sure that it was all sealed in there. And on top of that, also just for a little bit extra protection, I did spray it with Mod Podge acrylic sealer. I did about two coats of this and I waited about 30 minutes between coats. I feel like this just gives like an extra gloss, so why not? So then now like you touch it and like the glitter shouldn't be falling off, so that's what we wanted. And so for the front here, we wanted the name. And the name was going to go right on the top here, like that. So we have the logos, the name, and the birthday. And this is the glue I'll be using. I really like the first time I used this. It has a really good hold. It doesn't dry right away, but it doesn't like leak or anything. And it also dries clear, so you don't have to worry about getting too much glue or anything on it. And I have this pencil to help me pick up the rhinestones. And so they'll go just like this. Okay, and so it will look just like this and I'm just gonna keep going all the way around filling in my rhinestones. Here we go, this is what we have. 
It took a really long time to get all the rhinestones on there, but it was worth it. It looks so pretty. And this has been drying for about three hours. The bottle says it needs two to four hours, so this should be fine. It feels very sturdy in there. <laughs> and so now we just add the finishing touches. And so I'm gonna take some ribbon. I'm gonna use this white one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And please also head over to my Instagram and my TikTok for a lot more pictures and videos of my work. And thank you so much for watching.